Good evening and welcome to BRTV News. Sheikh Uwa Barno Al-Haji Abu Bakar Ibn Umar Garbay Al-Amin El Kanemi has charged State Team of Adolescent Girls Initiative Learning and Empowerment to pay special attention to the Agile project by liaising with the traditional institutions for optimum result. The Royal Father gave the charge when the Agile State Coordinator, Engineer Ibrahim Baba, led other members on homage to the Sheikh at his palace yesterday. Abba Ramad has the details. Sheikh Abu Bakr Ibn Umar Garbe Al Amin Al Kenemi lauded the state governor Professor Bagana Umar Azulim for his concerned to educational development of the state and implored the Borno Agile team to be just in the tax ahead. He said the insurgency has adversely affected the education sector, urging the Agile team to ensure that all nooks and crannies of Borno have benefited from the project, stressing that the state was left behind in terms of Western education. The Royal Father reassured the traditional institutions to support the socioeconomic development of the state, stressing that the state has experienced many calamities and have overcome them through consistency in prayers, calling on all and sundry not to relent in praying for peace. Earlier, the Borno State Agile Project Coordinator Engineer Baba Ibrahim said, knowing the position of the traditional institution, it became imperative for them to seek for royal blessings advice and support from the Shehu to achieve the set objectives. He informed the Shehu that the Adolescent Girls Initiative for Learning and Empowerment has the mandate of supporting the girl child to acquire sound knowledge, saying they have constructed classes and renovated over 300 schools across the state in addition to creation of skills acquisition centers to make them self-reliant. The Agile coordinator said the project is to ensure the enrollment and retainment of girl child up to completion of their studies. The Agile team was also at the residence of the chief Imam of Borno, Imam Lacey Ibrahim Ahmed, on the same mission where the state coordinator in Geneva by Ibrahim informed the Islamic scholar about their mandate and solicited for prayers to achieve the set objectives. Responding, the chief Imam of Borno, Imam Lacey Ibrahim Ahmed, wished them success in their assignment and implored the team to emphasize on counseling the girl child on the importance of socialization, which he said is lacking in the society. Prayers were offered for peace, unity, and success of the project across the state. Speaking in an interview after the visit, the state coordinator, engineer Baba Ibrahim, urged the people of Borno had access to complete secondary school education. All, all parents, let them enroll their child to school, especially those who are proceeding from the primary to junior secondary school or from junior to senior secondary school. This project is supporting them by creating a safe and accessible learning space, giving them the digital literacy or life skills, also giving them the opportunity to be in school by giving them uh, incentives. Hypon was presentation of seminar to the places visited. Abaramat, BRTB News. Members of State Guidance and Counseling Board have been commenced for facilitating the recruitment of over 3,000 indigents of the state into the military and other parliamentary establishments. The State Commissioner for Local Government and Emirate Affairs, Umay Mele, made a recommendation when members of the board, led by its chairman, Al Haji Abalawan, paid him a courtesy call in his office yesterday. Very correct. Sugun so Mele noted that despite the recruitment challenges, the board was able to achieve the success within the shortest possible time. This, he said, clearly underscored the level of commitment of the board's members and their resolved determination to see that youth from the state adequately consider. To this end, Sugun so Mele added, the ministry will direct all local government councils to carry out sensitization and enlightenment campaigns on the need for youth to take advantage of recruitment exercise whenever the need arises. The chairman of the State Guidance and Counseling Board, Al Haji Abdullawan, had informed the commissioner of its mandate and solicited the ministry's support and cooperation to perform its functions effectively. He told the commissioner that during the recruitment exercise, the board worked in synergy with 54 staff drawn from the 27 local government councils to screen applications so as to ensure that only bonafide indigents are recruited, contributing the executive secretary of the board, engineer Baba Malakai Gama, informed the commissioner that the board was established in the year 2020 and its mandate, among others, include 
recruitment of Borno State indigents into military and paramilitary establishments, as well as create opportunities for employment into the Federal Civil Service. Palmata Abba, BRTV News. Similarly, the State Commissioner for Local Government and Emirate Affairs, Zoumei Mele, has applauded Nigerian military for complementing the effort of Zulum administration in restoring peace across the state. The Commissioner made the commendation while receiving a award of excellence from the Brigade Commander Operation Harding K at Memalari Cantonment Medical. Correspondent Zarami Modu reports. Receiving the award, Al Haji Sugurme Mele said, a word cannot express his feeling, adding, the effort of the military in restoring peace across the state cannot be overemphasized and urge them to maintain the tempo. When this place is celebrated, Gurumari is reset, then they will be relieved of all these kinds of because the people will go back and take the pieces of their lives and they will be on their own. They are business powers, they have their own business. They don't have no they don't have any business with uh, staying in Meluri. He said top military personnel and equipment have been deployed to Bonu State to fight the insurgency, which is a clear testimony of ending the war. Alaji Surme Mele said the effort of the military in restoring peace in the state has been appreciated by the state governor, Professor Wagana Omar Azulu, and the entire people of the state, and commended the governor for establishing cordial relationship between the military and the civilian. On resettlement of Gudumbari, Alhaji Sunmai Mele said the communities are eager to go back to their ancestral homes, adding that Governor Zulum has serious concern about the resettlement of the town, assuring that they will be resettled in shortest time. Presenting the award to the Commissioner, Chief of Staff, 402 Special Force Brigade, Colonel Ibrahim Yusuf said, the award is in appreciation of the Commissioner's effort in establishing cordial relationship between the civilian and the military, urging him to maintain the tempo. Earlier, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, al Haji Tahiru Shatima, lauded the military for recognizing the effort of the Commissioner, saying the award will ginger him to do more for the social economic and political development of the state. He praised the military for standing firm in restoring peace, adding that the relationship between the military and the civilian is encouraging. Highlight was the presentation of the award and group photograph. Zarami Modu, ERTV News. Borno State Ministry of Home Affairs, Information and Culture, in partnership with UNICEF and other partners, has organized training for public information officers on social reconciliation, reintegration, and child safeguarding policy in the state. The workshop, which took place today at Conference Hall of Women Development Center, May degree, was aimed at enlightening participants on how to create trust and mutual understanding between repentant armed fighters and the community. Abaramat has the details. In a keynote address, the Commissioner, Ministry of Home Affairs, Information and Culture, Hajiwa Okura Bajato, said the training is part of the reconciliation and reintegration campaign in peace building across the state. Represented by Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Barista Garba Musa Chibok, the Commissioner implored participants to be attentive, hoping that at the end, information officers will have the knowledge and choice of words when reporting. He described information officers as voice of the voiceless, saying the training will go a long way in creating hope and resilience between both parties and appreciated UNICEF and partners for sponsoring the project. The Permanent Secretary enjoined the people to forgive and forget for the interests of peace, saying to err is human and to forgive is divine, adding that some of the fighters were forcibly conscripted into the set. In his presentation on Introduction to Public Information Service, UNICEF Child Protection Officer of Borno, Usman Abdul said, as repentant armed fighters kept on surrendering, it is pertinent to enlighten the public to accept them. He said, the participants being information officers of their respective local governments have the mandate to inform the public on the importance of peaceful coexistence and the need to forgive, hence the training. Abaramat, BRTV News. Borno State Government, in its commitment to address the challenges of water, sanitation and hygiene, is expected to spend more than 8 billion naira. This was disclosed by the General Manager, Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency, Musa Ali, at an occasion to mark this year's World Toilet Day. Correspondent Halima Abacha reports that the occasion was organized by Borno State Environmental Protection Agency, BOSEPA, in collaboration with United Nations Children's Fund. Her report. 
According to the Rwasa General Manager, Dr. Musa Aliu, the state government, in its commitment to address wash challenges in the state, had constructed 85 solar-powered boreholes across the state and rehabilitated 169 others. He also disclosed that government has also constructed 311 hand pumps, reactivated 300 others, noting that various wash projects involving water supply and toilets were also executed with the support of UNICEF, particularly in local government areas. The executive governor has also given the approval for the construction of mini water works in areas where we have difficulties in our water supply. In Moramti, Kondiga, in Haul, two in Jere, two in MMC. And these are all on ongoing. The Environment Commissioner at Chateri Masare said the issue of open defecation is not limited to Nigeria alone, but it's a global issue explaining that the solutions are toilets as the Borno State government is putting a lot of effort to construct world-class toilet to have open defecation free Borno. The general manager of Bosefa, Abubakar Suleiman, stressed the importance of WASH in attaining SDG 6 said a safe, functional toilet improve public health, human dignity, and personal safety, particularly for women. He noted that in Borno, only 16% of the total population had access to basic sanitation adding that the state government in its 25-year development framework and 10-year strategic plan is working towards addressing the situation. Here in the next stage, only 16% of the total population do not have access to basic sanitation, still engaged in open sanitation practice when you say 2021. The UNICEF Meduguri Wash Manager my meter Takar said in Nigeria, only 53% of the population had access to basic sanitation facilities and only 4% of the population have access to safely managed sanitation. The Director General of SEMA, Hajaya Bawakolo, Professor Babagana Kolo of University of Meduguri and others who spoke at the occasion commended all the intervention to Borno State Government by UNICEF and other donor agencies in the state and equally lauded effort of Bosefa General Manager in keeping Borno clean. Halima Abacha, reporting. African Cities Research is to partner with Borno Radio Television Corporation towards achieving primary objective of improving the living condition of the masses. The focal person of the consortium, Dr. Haruna Ayuba, stated this today during a court call to the general manager, Borno Radio Television Corporation, Adamu Isa Abadam, at the broadcasting house along Shehulamin Way, Medibri. Palmata Abba, compressed report. According to the focal person of the project, who is also the lead ACRC, Dr. Haruna Ayuba said, the main aims and objectives include political settlement, security and safety, land and connectivity, youth and capacity development domains, among others. He said 13 African countries will be their focus, and Meduguri has been selected in Nigeria to benefit from the project because of peculiar problems. On his part, a member of the team, Babakura Bakar said the main purpose of the visit is to solicit support from BRTB and inform the general manager on activities going on as the corporation has very important role to play, especially in terms of publicity. The African City Research Consortium therefore specifically is interested in coming up with operational development uh, research findings to address the untractable uh, developmental challenges being faced by the African, African cities. He said African Cities Research Consortium has undertaken social research in Medjugorje and environs towards improving living conditions of people, adding the main focus areas are MMC, Jere, Mafa and Kondiga due to their closeness to Medjugorje. Responding, the general manager Adam Issa Abadam was overwhelmed for considering BRTV as partners in progress and loved the development, adding it will go a long way in accelerating Governor Babagana Omar's stand pack agenda, where he constituted a committee under Ministry of Environment to tackle flooding issues. I would like to appreciate your efforts. Out of the 30 states in the country, you decided for us to be one of the states that you are going to conduct that you have this year such, which is a great advantage to us. I don't think there's any such a such one conducted in the state before. So, since so this is the first time you're organizing this uh, 
African cities research or something we do great. BRTB will be most willing to support you. But first of all, His Excellency Professor Wagan Amaradil, we have to appreciate his effort in the aspect of the plodding as we did mention. And Mr. Abadam added that the corporation is willing to support African Cities Research Consortium to achieve its mandate, saying the station has five similar programs, include health, agri, women empowerment, uniting IDFs, among others. High point of the visit was formal presentation of Slovenia to the general manager by the representatives of African Cities Research Consortium. Palmata Abba, BRTV News. Media practitioners and civil society organizations have been challenged to face their attentions to sub-national issues in education, health and water sanitation and hygiene within the host communities of lectured region of Borno and Yube states. The president and founder of Canning Press Digital Hub and partners, Zanna Ibrahim Mustafa, made this assertion when delivering a keynote address at a two-day seminar organized by the Canning Press Digital Hub and Partners in Mexico. The seminar, which took place at Aiba Sports Resort, and the report is presented from our studio. The president and founder of the Canning Press Digital Hub and Partners, Zanna Ibrahim Mustafa, emphasized the need for the media practitioners and civil society to change the narratives of the conflict in the Northeast region through reporting issues of subnational interests that affect education health and water in the society. He challenged the journalists and civil society organizations to showcase the prevailing activities in the internet displaced persons camps, more especially in the areas of subnational issues so that the government will take proactive measures. Zanna Ibrahim Mustafa commended the Mark Atu Foundation for sponsoring the program as well as charged the participants to actively participate and acquire the qualities and skills during the session so as to promote the ideals of society. A senior lecturer in the Department of Education, University of Meduguri, Dr. Babakura Mamangadei, presented paper on accessibility and involvement in education within the Chad region of Borno and Yobe states, has expressed optimism that states' government improved the education system. In their separate paper presentations, Dr. Dogo Saje al Ngari spoke on water sanitation and hygiene and its challenges within ITP camps, while Dr. Saleh Abba dwelt on the challenges of primary health care, as well as Aisha Isa Ottoman presented her paper on challenges of primary health care within Lake Chad region. Highlight of the event was the presentation of certificates. Adam Adauda reported. That's all we have for the news. Do join us tomorrow for more reports. Thanks for watching and have a pleasure.